What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Today I've got a deck you have to see in action in order to believe. It's a Blissey Porygon Z deck that can one-hit KO anything in standard format. I was inspired to play this deck on stream today by Kirk Dubay of Super Rodcast. This list is based off of a list he sent me on Twitter. If you haven't already, make sure to check out my Twitter at enjoyfriend, E-N-J-O-I friend. I uh, post a lot of deck lists, things like that, to my Twitter page. And we stream this deck live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash tricky gym. If you haven't already, make sure to check out the Twitch channel as well, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. The idea of this deck is to attack with... Blissey. Blissey has 160 HP and the powerful slap attack, which deals 80 damage times the amount of heads you flip, and you get to flip a coin for each energy attached to this Pokemon. Now, Blissey combos really well with a lot of cards that have been recently released. We've got the Recycle Energy, which, when it goes to the discard pile, comes back to your hand. We've got Capture Energy, which is just a nice colorless energy that you can attach to a Pokemon. You get to get a basic Pokemon out of your deck and put it onto your bench. We've got the Triple Acceleration Energy from Unbroken Bonds. But new to this archetype from Darkness Ablaze, we've got Glimwood Tangle. This is a stadium card, reads once during each player's turn. After that player flips any coins for an attack, they may ignore all results of those coin flips and begin flipping those coins again. So we pile a ton of energy onto our Blissey and perform some insanely powerful slap attacks. And if the flips don't go our way, the Glimwood Tangle allows us to start over and reflip, giving us a good chance of getting a powerful slap attack launch that we like. Now, in order to help Help put more energy into play. We've got Porygon Z with its crazy code ability. You may recognize the backbone of this deck. It's very similar to the Whimsicott GX Porygon Z deck that I like so much. Crazy code is just one of the best abilities printed on a stage two Pokemon uh, in standard format right now. As often as you like during your turn before you attack, you may attach a special energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. So once you set up that Porygon Z, you could throw recycle energies, twin energies, forgot to, yeah. Twin Energy, also really good in this deck. It was hiding down there at the bottom of the deck list. Twin Energy, Triple Acceleration Energy, Capture Energy, Recycle Energy. We could throw all those energies onto our Blissies and use insane powerful slap attacks to one-hit KO. Even the biggest tag team Pokemon in Pokemon VMAX, the standard format, has to offer. To back up our Blissies, we've got a copy of Cramorant V, who could spit shot to help knock out to Denny's, things like that on the bench. We've got two Evolution Incense, two Great Ball, four Quick Ball, four Rare Candy, and some nice Shuffle Draw as well for Cynthia, two Marnie, two Professor's Research, two Boss's Orders. And then I really like just the kind of one of everything here. One Crobat V, one Eldegoss, one Dedenna GX, one Zacian. Zacian V is an all-star in this deck. It's so good in decks that try to set up Stage 2 Pokemon and play Capture Energy all the time. You'll start with like a Chansey or something. And you can go Turn 1, Capture Energy for either a Porygon or for the Zacian V to Intrepid Sword and help you draw out of those early early Marnies that your opponent might be throwing at you to try and disrupt your strategy. This deck is a ton of fun to play, so let me know what you think of this powerful Blissey Porygon Z deck in the comments below. Enjoy the gameplay. Uh, Waylord V has got a flippy attack as well. It's just like, I think you flip like an amount of coins or something, it does 120 damage times the amount of heads. It's ridiculous. Okay, okay, it's fine. Totally fine. Capture energy, turn one, go get ourselves... The Chauncey. I'm going to retreat that bad boy into the Chauncey. Pass it on over to you, bud. Now, we do have two Porygon Zs in our hand, so we absolutely need to draw into a Rare Candy off this Crobat next turn. Krag Sauce. Why can't Whimsicott be this smooth? I think we're about to see today. I'm going to re revamp the Whimsicott deck using Crobats and Dedenny's instead of... Uh... <clears throat> yeah, Crobats and Dedenny's instead of Zeb Strikas. And we're going to see if Whimsicott gets better. Also, Chansey needs less to do more, generally. I think it needs less energy to do more damage, which is cool. But I, I feel like I do want to give Whimsicott a chance. All right, 30 damage there. It's fine. They do have the acceleration. Quick ball is very good for us. We're going to go Blissey. Quick ball here. Check and see. 
My other Porygon is actually not in the deck, so I do not have a choice. I cannot get rid of this. All right, I have to evolve this Porygon. That's fine, we'll take this dude. I should have taken a Zacian in hindsight because like if I don't find, I'm insane. All right, there we go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Crazy code. And uh, see, we're going to let just a Blissey rip. That's fine. I don't even need to put this to Denny down. Yo, Brandon, thanks for the 300 bits. You've been playing a Rose Tower in yours as a uh, Zeb Striker replacement, and it works better than you'd expect. That sounds pretty good, actually. I like that. Okay. This deck's so broken. What the heck? All right, we've got this. Go get another Chauncey. I didn't hit the stadium, though, so that's sad. We're only taking one prize here, but it's fine. And crazy code. The recycles onto the active. Just guarantee the knockout there. You can go twin onto this bench, Chansey. And go powerful slap. Need like three heads. That'll do. <laughs> Seven. 560 damage. Is that turn two? That's so insane. <clears throat> turn two 500 something damage what the heck <laughs> this deck is ridiculous oh now our Dedenny's in the discard pile though that makes me extremely sad I feel like our next turn is not going to be nearly as powerful as a slap okay and we only took one prize which is super sad I've never actually hit into the black market I've never had that matter Should have attached the captures to play in the quick ball. Ah, yes, Psychologist Kane. Indeed. Ah, my opponent knows my secret of the, uh, knows my secret of the Porygon. My other Porygon is prized. They figured it out. Maybe they don't have the darkness energy, though. They don't. All right, chat. My opponent's got a one-way ticket to Punish Island. Okay. Got a Marnie. I just need one energy off the Marnie chat. Come on now. Not like this. All right. I don't think that there's anything too great for me to get. Check with Evolution Incense. I've got the Porygon too. That's like good enough for sure. Twin energy. Hate to retreat the twin energy, but I don't have much of a choice. So, we just have to do that. Okay. And then... Yeah, we just retreat that. I could tantrum. Nah, that seems bad. Yeah, that's horrible, because I attached the triple as well. Crazy code that. Is there anything else that I really want or need? I don't think so. Yeah, we're just going to go for the powerful slap here. And hope we hit all heads, baby. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! This deck is so broken. <laughs> oh, baby, the highs are so high, but the lows are so low. <laughs> I'm gonna play a game with the Blissey Porygon deck. Definitely my favorite stage two, stage two deck that we played today. It was a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys have all enjoyed the stream today. So thank you guys all so much for hanging out with me while we stream some Darkness Ablaze decks. Don't forget to check out FullGripGames.com for all your trading card game singles. FullGripCodes.com for instant PTCGO code delivery. Yes. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for supporting the shop at FullGripGames as well. Helps to continue to allow me to do what I do here. 
All right, we're going second. Looks like I'm probably opening Cramorant and going to use Beat Catch. Unfortunate as it is, sometimes that's the play. All right, playing against Senti Scorch. I believe in our ability to beat this deck. I do, especially since we're going second. That's pretty good. So we're going to go turn one, attach, beat catch. Then, got to stack two pretty broken cards on top of the deck. Probably like, or, you know, into my hand. Probably Porygon Z and a research. Oh, we got the Marnie. That's nice. So we're going to go here, we're going to go here, we're going to Marnie. Gonna save the stadium. Wow, it's a pretty good hand actually. Except for the fact that we did not get a Blissey. But that's fine. Okay, we're gonna beat catch and we're gonna get rare candy and yo two rare candies, chat. Bet. You just go get two Porygon Z's right now. No. All right. We're going to get Rare Candy and a Capture Energy. Seems objectively very good. So we'll do that. Capture Energy can give me the Blissey. We got the Rare Candy Porygon. We got Evolution Incense to go into a Porygon 2. It's pretty good. Hopefully they don't have like the welder double fire. Like please don't have welder double fire off of that Marnie. Nah, greens, all right, we're chilling. So it's next turn, and a rare candy Porygon Z. Unless they're going greens for like uh, a reset stamp right now, which I'd be pretty upset if they just decided to just, you know, reset stamp my hand of seven to six. That'd be bad. All right. So here goes Cramorant. Hey, Cramorant's going to go down. I do have, man, the Porygon Z right there. It's cool. All right, we're going to go Rare Candy here. The Porygon Z, Crazy Code, Capture Energy. Get the Chauncey out of the deck. Crazy Code, the Recycle Energy. Evolution Incense, get the Porygon 2. Fall of that as well. And we could spit shot the Senti Scorch. We're going to Cynthia. It's pretty good. Got another Chansey. Crazy Code, Capture Energy onto the Chansey. Do I need anything else really out of the deck? Just get another Chansey out. They're taking a knockout next turn, like for sure. So cool. We'll just get like the gang all here. I think I'm just going to say, yeah, pause and we're just going to spit shot the active. Deal that 160 damage there. Then next turn. You know, we throw a bunch of energy into play. And, yeah. We just let Blissey take the wheel, chat. I'm going to Senti Scorch my Cramorant. It's fine. We lose two prizes. I mean, we're pretty much not going to have any other two prizes down. Maybe the Eldegoss. Ugh. It's fine. Here comes Chansey. Just need a Blissey. That's it. Phew. God. Name a card, get a card. Let's go. We've got crazy code. So I only need to deal 160 damage. That's two heads. Two, chat. All right, I'm not doing anything crazy. We're just going up with the recycle energies. Two heads. And the twin energy. We can Eldegoss for a Marnie. Yeah, reset my opponent's hand. That seems really good. Go there. Okay, we've got Great Ball. It's nice. Maybe if I can find a another Blissey. Let's go, chat. Get that guy into play. And then we Powerful Slap. Let's see. I just need two heads. Out of one, two, three, four, five. That's fine. We should get it.
right on the money. All right, Blissey. It's cool. Now we've got all the juice we need in the deck to take insane one-hit KOs for the rest of the game. I've got insane amounts of triple acceleration energy. I've already got two recycle energies on my Blissies. Yeah, Porygon Z. Porygon Z is honestly probably like the best stage two right now. You know, I mean, I don't know. Like, what else? What else is there? It could be, um, maybe Decidui, maybe Obstagoon. Porygon is the best energy accelerating Pokemon, that's for sure. We have two of the Glimwood Tangles in the deck. It is a stage two deck that also revolves on a stage one, revolves around a stage one attacker. So, yeah, the list in the uh, the list is kind of tight. All right, it's like not a ton of space in here. But I think what, you know, what it has going for it over, like, the Whimsicott thing is that, uh, you know, we're, our board is just filled with one prizers. And we can very quickly, you know, kind of ramp to a one-hit KO. Like, look, I I guarantee you I'm about to one-hit KO the Senti Scorch VMAX, even with the Heat Fire energy. I guarantee it. I guarantee it, chat. Let's go. Two Porygons. Let's go. All right. What's my supporter situation like in the deck? Do we data change? Crazy code here. Data change first. Research first. I do have a Crobat V in the deck. I do have a healthy amount of supporters left in the deck as well, though. Well... I'm sure I'm going to draw into a handful of supporters and y'all are going to be like, you should have done it. Listen, hindsight's 2020, chat. All right, we're in there, though. This is a good hand. Got a quick ball. Away the Porygon. Having Crobat in the deck is one of the reasons that I... Yeah, decided to go here. All right, we go Crazy Code. Capture Energy. Nope. Here. Here. Crobat V for four. All right, chat. It's time. One powerful slap. We need, like, a lot more than that. No. We still did it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's cool, you know. It's like me in high school doing just enough to get by. Probably open Zashin. It's fine. Not going to put down the Porygon. Because, like, what are the odds that my... Ah, oh, this is going to be very bad. I think this... This is not good, chat. We've won too many games. We're up to facing Vika Volts again. Ah. Um. Yeah. I'm just going to go here. Get the Chansey. That's fine. Twin Energy. Research. Okay, we've got Quick Ball and Evolution Incense. Can Evolution Incense for... Porygon 2. Just to have it for next turn. Quick Ball. Get rid of a Capture Energy. Probably get to just get ourselves another Chansey. I don't necessarily want to give my opponent another, you know, another two prize target on my field, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go here. You know, start manually evolving up. They're probably going to item lock me and stuff. They're probably going to start gusting things. Like, 
the idea is hopefully I just get enough energy onto a Blissey or something that gusting the Porygon seems like a bad idea. Ah, we are getting Marnied. Ah, it's kind of nasty. It's fine. Got the capture energy here. Go get ourselves another Porygon. And keep calm and intrepid sword. Okay. Could do some things with this. If they break the item lock, you know, then, I mean, that's very good. We've got a very good hand if they break the item lock. Okay. Go there. Just Intrepid Sword again. It's pretty good. I mean, I don't want to lose all these triples for sure. Right? It's a little bit concerning. I'm just going to get Marnie again. That's fine. We'll see the next five cards. Cynthia is good. So we can play that to help draw out. Okay, we'll play the twin energy probably onto this other Chansey and just Cynthia. We got the rare candy Porygon, but cool. I think I'm going to evolve one of these into Blissey just to have it. Just Intrepid Sword. Okay. Question is, are they going to like gust up and KO Blissey or something. You know, with their super zap cannon, or are they going to just leave the Zashi in here in the active and just KO that? Maybe with like an electro power. Yeah, they take the knockout on Zashi in this turn with electro power, so that's what they're gonna do. That makes sense. Okay, so I think we're just going to put Glimwood Tangle down and research this hand. There's a triple, so that gives us very high odds of hitting what we need here. Yeah, I'm just going to research. Okay, we've got Porygon 2, which is good. Another Chansey. Honestly, this hand's pretty decent, so we're going to go Powerful Slap. And I need, what, three heads? There we go. So, chilling. Take that KO. And then they pretty much have to come up and <clears throat> they have to like, I think I'm just like chilling here, honestly. I think we're in like a really powerful spot. Like, cause they have to super zap cannon, right? And if they super zap cannon, then I can respond with a knockout. We might beat Vikavolt, chat. It's kind of crazy. So those intrepid swords early on were like super important. you know, to help us just like set up. And the goal is, you know, we want to keep ourselves with no two prizes on board. That's how my opponent's going to skip ahead if they are able to at all, right? So I think they have to super zap cannon, take that KO. I'm down one Blissey. I only do it. I do only have three Blisseys to win the game and a Cramorant, right? So it's a little bit tough. So let's see, they got the Super Zap Cannon. They have to Super Zap Cannon. They cannot just leave this thing active. They're probably going to Marnie again. That's fine. I mean, it's not fine. That's very unfortunate because my hand here is extremely strong. This hand, I do, you know, have the option. I can go and just Crobat out of this hand, which is fine. All right, so we'll go up, take this knockout. They're going to have to Super Zap Cannon again. And then we could theoretically win. We've got Cramorant here. They don't have Dedenne on their side of the field, though, which is sad. Okay. We're going to quick ball away the Glenwood Tangle. I'm going Crobat first. 
Yeah, that seems good. Better I just Eldegoss for the yeah, Alcrobat first. Um, I do need to hit like the Blissey though, you know. Yeah, that's fine. Then we're gonna go Crobat. Okay. Uh, we're gonna put Porygon Z into play. Crazy code. That's fine. Cramorant down, Crobat for six. Okay, we've got the Blissey. This is all pretty good. I've got Boss's Orders as well, so I can knock out this one, which would be even better. Okay, does seem pretty good. So the question is, do I go ahead and... I only need three heads. We go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I probably have to put the triple down. I'm going to save the capture energy, though. And they've used their Tapu Koko. Yeah, we'll boss this thing. A powerful slap. Nice. Really came in clutch there at the end. It was good. We got Great Ball. I need the Blissey. No Blissey. So this is my last Blissey. Which is not good. Okay. Could just lose the game because of this. Because I have prized my final Blissey. It's not great. I can use Sympathetic Slap for 100. We'll see how it ends up working out. All right. Double Tails on Turbo Patch. It's pretty good. Yo, Alaskan Hero, thanks. They ain't got it. That's what I like to hear. For sure. With the double Turbo Patch Tails, I'm feeling like maybe they don't got it. Now, I'm glad that we have the Kramer right here as, like, another attacker, but he is just super weak to Lightning, which is... Okay! We're chillin'. Big chillin'. Yeah, thanks so much, Kyle9128 for the tier one sub. Says, hot dogs are sandwiches. Why? <laughs> Why? Why did I have to know that? All right, we're gonna take a look. Uh, I feel like it's safe to Cynthia here. If I just take this knockout, then I'll have Kramer for a game on the Absol. So, all I have to do is find more energy. Yeah, like these recycle energies here. I'm just gonna put one onto the active. Um, I don't know how much energy I have left in the deck. I'm gonna check real quick. I should have at least some twins left. And some capture left. All right, I can afford to put both up. It's fine. I just like want to be careful so that I am not quick ball away this. Yeah, like you never want to get yourself in a situation where something could just get bossed like into the active and then you lose from deck out. That's like the situation you want to look out for. Yeah, I didn't grab the Eldegoss. Evolution Incense. Take that. Going in with the powerful slap, chat. We've done it. I'm cool. All right, we'll take our 240 damage there. And then all we have to do is boss for game, baby. That's it. <laughs> Hot dogs are single hand sandwiches. I don't think I'm going to go down that road, okay? 
I don't know. Is a sub a sandwich? I guess a sub's a sandwich. Hot dog's not a sandwich. No way. It's got to be something else, right? A sub can be a sandwich, I guess. It's a submarine-shaped sandwich. But I think what disqualifies the hot dog is that the meat is a round tube. <laughs> yes, it's a multi-hand sandwich. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys are too funny. All right, we got it, chat. GG's. I think we're like technically 3 1 with this deck, right? Skirt. Last prize. GG's, Vika Volt opponents. GG's. Hot dogs aren't sandwiches because there's only one piece of bread. There's only one piece of bread with a submarine as well. You don't cut that thing all the way through. You know, a sub, a sub could just, you know, a sub does not get cut all the way through. What about an ice cream sandwich? That's kind of a unique take on a sandwich. Listen, listen, if you start calling hot dog sandwiches, you're just one step away from calling a taco a sandwich, and I will not have that. Okay? I don't want to hear about... If the tortilla is a certain, you know, thickness, then all of a sudden that taco becomes a sandwich. No, I don't want to. No, no, no. Okay. Taco is a taco. Hot dog's a hot dog. Sandwich is a sandwich. <laughs> Cereal is soup. Oh, my God. Now you're ruining my day. <laughs> what is a burrito? <laughs> Hot dogs are tacos. <laughs> oh, what the heck? All right, looks like we get a rematch against uh, Vikavolt. See if I can do it again. Uh, the short answer, I believe, is going to be no. I don't think I could do it again. But, yeah, you'll mess around and try. And recycle energy here. Probably don't need to crowbat for two. We're just going to Cynthia. Okay. Evolution incense. I'm gonna get probably the Porygon two. Um, quick ball. Weigh a twin energy. And get a Porygon. Bench it. Pass. Then, yeah, we'll evolve up into Porygon two. The item lock. That's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're pretty much going to sack one chancy. We know that. I think that the last time I should have attacked, heal 20 damage from each of my Pokemon, I'll save us the animation. All right? I'm chilling. Yeah, what about a quesadilla? Is a quesadilla a sandwich? <laughs> what about drinks you guys ever think about drinks or just soup in a can you ever just think about that they do make soup in a can you guys ever had those Campbell's little you know little sipper cups they come like a little sippy cup but it's actually Campbell's soup Yeah, that's a fascinating question there. Spec 3X. I like where your mind's at. Um, I think I go capture energy here. Just gonna get ourselves, you know, their Pokemon into play. Porygon probably. Healing pirouette. Cool. Doesn't really make a difference. They're doing 50 damage. It'll knock my guy out anyway. But, you know, if they decide to gust and knock out my Porygon 2 or something, yeah, at least I have something I can do. Right. Yeah. I could have used Sympathetic Slap that turn. I felt like getting another Porygon out into play seemed better. 
I guess Sympathetic Slap, you know, could have uh, set my opponent up for a potential knockout, though, so it's pretty good. We do have Porygon Z here, though, so we're going for the big play. All right. Got Porygon Z. We've got the crazy code. All right. I just need to draw the gas off these seven guards. Want, like, a triple and, you know, a, definitely a Blissey. Oh, no. All right. This is fine. We've got Chansey. I can crazy code more. We're going to crazy code again. Oh, I mean, the whole deck's just, like, popping off now. We actually have an insane hand, if you think about it. You know, think about it. I get another Chauncey. No, I actually have to save room for the Crobat and the Dedenny. All right, we're going to pass there. Yep, we're going to go. Let's see. I need to flip four heads. Four head. That's fine. Yeah, I should just put all these in the active for sure. We just have to hit it. Have to hit it, chat. Cool. We got, like, a lot of cards to hit it, though. Okay. Neither of you are it. That's fine. Crazy code this over here. <clears throat> Sad to have to let this Cramorant go, but I believe that it's just what we have to do. All right. Find a Blissey, please. Thank you. This was getting out of hand. Got Blissey right here. Okay. I can't evolve this bench one. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, the triple pretty much shares it up. But yeah, you're you're done. Yeah. Got to flip four heads. Easy. Yeah. We got six heads. Out of here. 480 damage. That's fine. That was a pretty good turn, all things said and done. I'm pretty pleased with how that one went, chat. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go, chats. And that's it for the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and check out fullgripgames.com. If you got extra cards lying around the house that you're looking to sell, you want to get some cash for your bulk or your singles, make sure to check out the Full Grip Games buy list. We are always buying cards and trading them for booster boxes. So if you want to trade your bulk for a booster box, you can do that on the Full Grip Games buy list. If you want to trade your bulk for store credit, you do that as well. Make sure to check out fullgripgames.com, the buy list. I got a video up explaining how to do it. You just fill out the buy list with the cards you want to sell. You send us the cards, we approve it, and we send you the cash. It really is that easy. That's it for today's video. Y'all are awesome. Take it easy and have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.